I have just arrived in Mallorca. I am at the port of Parma and oh, let's have a little chat about this whole solo <laughs> traveling and how I'm feeling because I am so emotional. Let's just stop here one second because you need a little bit of context before I continue. My name is Sarah and I'm a 40 year old woman who has been a single mum pretty much since my son was born back when I was 22. Now my son is older, he is starting to find his own way through life, he's becoming more independent and he no longer wants to come on every trip that I go on. And this is the first of what I imagine to be one of many solo trips as we go forward. I have been very emotional, like walking through the airport, I could just like start welling up with tears and again just I was just walking, like I haven't been anywhere, I've literally just picked up the car, like got off the airport, picked up the car, drove to Mallorca, not drove to Mallorca, drove to uh, Parma, about a 20 minute drive, parked up the car and then just, I'm just starting like my first little wander around, I haven't been to like check in or anything yet and just, I just get, I don't like, I don't know, I, don't, I just keep thinking I just want to go home and that sounds so pathetic. It's just, I don't know, I don't really know at the moment. <laughs> Like, I don't want to be here, that's just sounds so, like, arsey, I don't want to be here, but, like, I just want to be at home with Stephen. Oh, it sounds pathetic. Maybe, like, once I get into a bit more and go and see some places, it'll feel a bit better, but I'm really struggling, to be honest. I'm really struggling with it. Oh. Okay, a little update. I'm feeling much better. <laughs> much, much better. I thought I probably would once I, like, got busy and was doing things, but I'm not doing things, I'm just sitting there, and it just, I just feel a bit lonely I think and I don't really know but anyway it's been a couple of hours I've had a nice time wandering around Parma I went to the cathedral I've just been to the beach then for a little relax it's been lovely me and Stephen have had a few messages back and forth he's fine at home I think we've only did, just needed like some reassurance that he was away like I've only been gone for like a few hours oh I don't know but I've had a nice time wandering around by myself in all honesty it's been there's like some movies you know something happens and you think oh you wish you could be someone like, that happens generally doesn't it if you would like to receive special perks including unique badges and emojis access to members only community posts and early access to every single video you can do so by clicking the join button down below or there will be a link in the description of this video it's the morning of day two and I'm in a different place. I got up early this morning and I've driven about 30 minutes over to Valdemossa, which is the, um, the highest town in Mallorca. Apparently it's a beautiful little town, village, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have a little wander around. In terms of the whole, how I'm feeling, oh, I don't know, it's such, this roller coaster of how I'm feeling, to be honest. Like I spoke to Stephen last night, we had a bit of a chat. And um, and I don't think it's necessarily all about Stephen not coming with me as well. I think that obviously plays a huge part in it, but I don't know, like, I'm going backwards. Of, honestly, I've started to think, once I start doing things and, like, like, I'm here, and once I start looking around and things and, like, exploring, it's all fine. And then, I think I said this before, like, in the the quiet moments or like when it's like time to go out for tea or something and I just think I don't want to like I don't know it just seems really lonely <laughs> to do that by yourself I don't know um honestly I have looked into this how maybe this sounds pathetic I don't know you can you can judge me if you want but I did look at going I'm supposed to be going home late Thursday very late Thursday and I did look about going home Wednesday <laughs> It's only £10 for a flight and I don't know whether that's just silly and I'm just giving up on something or almost it's like, what's the point? It's so silly because oh, I'm getting frustrated with myself and my feelings, to be honest. Because if I go home, what am I going to do? Well, I'll work, but I'll just like sit around and I'm here doing wonderful things. But I guess if I'm just not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. and. I've tried something, it's okay to sort of, I don't know. I also think that 
maybe I've planned this completely wrong. I've just been thinking that actually this trip, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on for me in terms of like bursts and things that make me very anxious. And it's just, I think it's just probably overwhelming me that, you know, it's my first time abroad on my own. It's my first time, what is else? It's the first time, like I stayed in a hospital the first time last night, which was very like, ugh uncomfortable for me those situations don't come naturally um also it's the first time i've driven abroad in six years which again it's just sort of adds a level of stress to it and so i'm thinking potentially rather than going home early trust me i am having fun in between these kind of moaning times like this village is beautiful um but i think rather than like I've got a full itinerary as well of like the things that I plan to do is basically just like driving around the whole Mallorca for the four days being busy 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 and I think that maybe that's not the right way to go about it. I think that a better thing to do would be just to cut down on the things that I'm doing. Like I haven't got a hotel booked for tonight um, because I was sort of didn't know where I was going to end up. What I think I might do is do the things that I was doing today. I'm going to like a few different little villages and towns and then I might just head back to Palmer book a hotel in Palmer for tonight and possibly for the next and just like stay in Palmer and have it more of like just to relax and wander around Palmer a bit I don't know I think it's too much like just everything the driving the everything <laughs> stressing me out and it should not be stressful should it it is the third day now and I was thinking a lot yesterday um about this whole thing and I think that I reach I reached out to a few friends and stuff and had some conversations and I think that I'm just I've put too much pressure on this trip. The big men I think are going past outside if you can hear that. I've put too much pressure on this trip that like Stephen's never gonna come anywhere with me again and I know that that's not the case and I think I've just got over over the top about it all really um, and I decided yesterday that like, I'm absolutely going to stay till the end. It's ridiculous for me to you know, book another flight and go home early. I don't even know what I was thinking, to be honest. Well, I, I do know. I was, just a, I was just a mess. And it is hard. There's no doubt about it that this is really difficult for me and for all parents, you know, when their children get older and stop doing things with them but I think I'm just uh, it's even that like I'm putting too much you he, he's not all of a sudden gonna get to this age and then not do things with me it's it's just this gradual process and it's been a gradual process for years I guess so I just need to relax about it all <laughs> a little bit I think um I've also decided that I'm gonna like do things that like if Stephen was with me we probably wouldn't go and just relax on the beach for a few hours like he's not a, a heat lover particularly so I'm gonna do things that actually you know we don't do when we're when we're together so I've decided I'm kind of scrapping my plans for the trip to like to do more driving and I'm just gonna I've got this hotel booked uh, well I've stayed here last night and I've got tonight booked here as well and I'm just gonna relax for the last two days and um, just enjoy the sun enjoy the beach and not really do much i think that is better for me right now to do so that's what i'm gonna do they are my very jumbled messed up thoughts and roller coaster emotions that i went through on this first solo trip it was so emotional i'm so pleased that i did end up staying to the end of the trip and didn't go home early I'm so proud of myself that I got through it. This is a big deal. It's a big deal for all parents when their children start to find their own way in life and don't spend as much time with them and don't come on the trips and things. It's a really big deal. And I think especially as a single parent, it's really difficult. But these are my circumstances. I am a 40-year-old single woman. And, you know, if I want to do these trips, which I do, I love traveling. It's a massive, massive passion of mine. I love going to new places. If I want to have these traveling experiences in the future, it will either be, you know, maybe my son 
will come on some of them with me. I will have to find friends, meet people who want to come on these travel trips with me or meet people whilst I'm over there. That is my situation. And so I need to learn to embrace that. But right now, it's pretty scary.